Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And we are here today and we're going to draw my favorite Beauty and the Beast character. And it happens to be Lumiere. And he sings my favorite song. So let's go ahead and get started. First, what I want to do is I kind of want to lay out where Lumiere is kind of going. So he's based up on a lot of shapes. He's a lot of circles and one big rectangle on top. So we're going to make that rectangle. I'm kind of rounding off the top of the rectangle. Bring it down just a little bit. Bring down the other side. Bring down this side. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and circle off that top. The bottom, I mean. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to go underneath there and circle inwards at the bottom of that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to jump right here make another circle another circle you off to the side right here make a circle here make a circle here and then we're gonna go ahead and make this arm over here bring this up go towards his head make a circle And from here, you're going to go ahead and make a circle up here. Chop off the top of the corner of that rectangle. Then you're going to go on top, make a little bit of a square, a rounded square. Because it's one of those candle mufflers, you know, you put it over your candles when they're on, when they're lit and you put it over it and it muffles it out just a bit. I don't know the technical term for it, but he uses it as a hat and be our guest. After this, we're gonna go ahead and jump right back down to this side of his arm, which is actually going to go down. And it's gonna circle up, curve it inwards a little bit. And you can't go wrong with Lumiere's arms. They're just, they look like spaghetti noodles. So we're actually gonna go up over here and we're gonna make a circle right here. And then I'm just gonna light, I'm gonna kind of draw through his bot through this circle. This this is a candlestick, and I'm gonna circle out this way because he's kind of turned. So I go through this, that that candlestick circle, turn this outwards. Getting close to the bottom. We have another circle. Outwards. And we're gonna make a little bit of a bell shape. And then underneath that, another circle. Seriously, he's circles on top of circles. He's just a like a circle cake. So we have another circle there. And then finally, we have his bell bottom, which is just like this shape, but it's a little bit more bellish. Bring it inwards. And then right back into that bottom part. Let's straighten this out just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna circle underneath that. And I realize I ran off the bottom of my paper, that's okay. And just circle underneath that. Just line it, but bringing it out, just making it a little bit more dimensional for the bottom of a candlestick. So we're gonna start with his face. Even though he's a candlestick, he still has a three-quarter face. So we're seeing more of this side of the face as opposed to this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide his face right down where it's gonna go. Then I wanna go ahead and draw that eye line and his eyes are a little bit down here. He has a very, very large forehead and very large eyes. So we have this eye line and what I wanna do first is go ahead, circle at the bottom, make him a little bit wide. We're just gonna circle at the bottom, go up, and go right back down. So we're making these cone shapes, up and down, and then off to the side. We're gonna make the exact same cone shape, and you wanna make sure that, that they're the same height. So I'm gonna circle upwards. And then I'm gonna go up, connect, and go right back down. 
Now the next thing I would like to do is go ahead, make one eyebrow here, one thick eyebrow going off to the side, and then another eyebrow that's actually going to start all the way over here. Now, the reason why I wanted to do those eyebrows is because this eyebrow is connected to his nose ridge, so it's actually going to go inwards just a bit, chop off the side of his eye. We're gonna go out. You see how I'm rounding it up? I'm going outwards, and then I'm rounding it up. I'm gonna go right back into, close to this eye over here. And make sure you keep this line right there. You want to go back in towards the underneath of his eye and swoop right inside. And that gives him that nostril. Now the first thing I'd like to do is I want to start with this eye over here. So we're going to jump all the way down, bring this outwards. Keep the bottom of this eye and we're going to give him that pupil and he doesn't have an iris but he does have a little bit of shine in his eye and you can go ahead and just color that pupil in and I want to make sure to keep this line so connect this down and then ultimately this eyebrow will circle down into his eyelid just to define him a little bit more and then I'm going to jump from the bottom of his eye and give him his protruding cheek right here. After this I want to make sure we're still we still want to be pretty even so his eyelids should match up on the same level so they are closed halfway closed he's just being cool because Blue Mirror is just a really cool dude and I love him so I'm going to go underneath and define that a little bit more and then I'm going to jump in and cut off the bottom of this eye because his dimples are rising because he's smiling and it's kind of bringing up his cheek a little bit and it's just covering up a little bit of the side of his eye and you're going to go ahead jump in the middle. Give him that pupil, little shine, and color it in. And I'm just gonna darken up the eyelid a little bit more. And then actually what you're going to do is you're gonna jump up here, curve inward, jump off to the side, and bring down that eyelid all the way. But you wanna keep this part so if I get rid of that little bit of that guideline, just a little bit of an eyelid line, and I want to darken up his eyebrows a little bit more, so I'm making him nice and thick over here. And I'm going to make this part really thick, and it goes off the side of his eye. Now from this eyebrow right here, we're going to give him his forehead lines just because I know he's a candlestick, but he has forehead, forehead lines. So we're going to go from the top of his eyebrow, you're going to curve this inward. One forehead line, jump a little bit off here, another forehead line, and then bring it up. But you want to make these nice and rounded. And then from this eyebrow, we're going to make another forehead line. And another forehead line just matching across. And you're actually going to jump all the way up here, circle this down into the hat, and jump back in, go inside underneath the hat. It's just his, it's the piece of wax that symbolizes his hair. And then what you're going to do, we're going to round this off at the top, and round this in, inwards just a bit. And then we're going to go right here, circle this outward, and we're jumping right back underneath this part of his cheek. We have his dimple, and his dimple is actually going to start at his nose, his little nostril area. It's going to go down. So it goes down, curves up, 
off to the side, getting a little close to the side of his face. And then you're gonna jump down to underneath his nose, right about halfway. So underneath his cheek, you're just gonna kind of line that up, just going straight through. Bring it down. circle right into that dimple area. So from this dimple area, you're gonna, gonna you now his face is based into two parts. You got part candle and then part like the candelabra that's holding the candlestick. So you're actually gonna bring down this side of his mouth and then from underneath this part of his cheek, you're going to make another section, round it down. Bring this downwards. And then I'm going to jump over here underneath his nose from this part of this candle that lines up with his cheek. I'm going to bring this down. Bring it outwards. Just a little bit, not too much, just like I did. Bring it outwards. Circle back in. Alright, now the main thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this part right here. Just for a guide. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump underneath this part of his mouth, go inwards, go this way. We're going, I'm bringing this line in just a little bit. And then I'm gonna overlap this part right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and circle back up into that area. Then what you're going to do is you're going to jump up in here, give that little bit of a teeth mark, smile, just a little bit of a row starting from the corner, and then you're going to jump at the bottom, give him his tongue, so one hill here, another hill here, and you go ahead and you color it in, and you've got the inside of his mouth. And then you're gonna jump down below right here and just kind of line it up to the bottom of his lip. So for this circle right here that we made earlier, you're gonna go up, circle into the bottom of his lip, and you're gonna make leaves turning upwards. Curve this around and downwards. And then we're gonna go ahead, curve this. And then you're gonna go up. And then I'm gonna jump on this side. Go up. And then I'm gonna jump on top round this back upwards and then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make that candlestick we're gonna round off this top and so I'm gonna bring down this part right here there's a leaf there's a leaf and outwards and back in and there's another leaf and this is gonna go up and then this part's gonna go up Circle into his hat. And then you're gonna jump and make a little bit more dimensional at bottom. And then you're gonna make this other candle. And kind of make it look like a square. It's gonna round off the corners. And then we have a little a little wick that's just jumping out off to the side. And then for his hat, 
since it is that muffler, you're gonna circle this in. Circle inside the bottom. Jump over here, circle this side off. Line here. And then from over here, what you're going to do is you're gonna bring this outwards, curve outwards, in. Square this off up here. You're gonna follow that exact same route on the side, that curve, that line curve. You jump down the side. Make a circle right here. Curve this in. Bring this down. And you wanna keep this line and this line. Curve round off those edges just a little bit more. And you can actually shade inside since this is the inside of his hat. So we're gonna make these look a little bit more leafier. So I just kind of got rid of that division of that leaf right there. Bring down this side and give them that little dimension. And then I'm gonna jump over here, circle this side. And we're gonna make this little indention and we're actually going to bring down the side of his spaghetti arms. Jump back over. We're gonna make sure it's the same width. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna circle upwards. And then from here, you're going to make that leaf here. A leaf right here. And a leaf right here going inwards. A little bit of dimension to that leaf. Bring up this side, round it down, back into here. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a layer. And then another square, bring over this side, bring it up. This side. And then we, we're just gonna make that wick. And I'm actually gonna bring in his chest to curve it into this part. And we're just gonna go ahead and curve this to make it a little more curvier and fl flowing into each other. This is going to stay the same, but once again, just gonna make it nice and flowing in a little bit more. Same here, just making more clean lines. So from starting over here, what I'm gonna do from this side Curve down, curve up, curve down, curve back up, curve down, go right back up, and then I'm gonna jump down, curve up, curve down, and right back up. These have like little leaf lines.
and there we go. There is how to draw Lumiere. Now, for the last tutorial, it's totally up to you guys. Do you guys want to learn how to draw Mrs. Potts and Chip together, or do you want to learn how to draw Cogsworth? It's up to you. Please leave in the comments down below who you would like the last Beauty and the Beast character to be. Chip and uh, Mrs. Potts or Cogsworth. So please leave in the comments below and I will do which one is ever requested the most. I hope you all have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. 